welcome back to another video everyone it is minnesota fishing opener finally we've made it uh we're on the old beautiful lake mille Lacs here and i got my good buddy bischoff with switched Howdy. it up this year we ditched the other guys got a new guy along so hopefully it doesn't uh, bring bad luck in the boat here but as you can tell, we got some waves slapping the back of the boat. We're currently a raptor down on our spot. It is 11.58, so we have two minutes till we can start fishing. Um, probably not going to film right away. We're just gonna kinda start fishing, see what we can catch. Hopefully, it's gonna get good. But I'll give you a rundown of exactly what we're gonna be using and kinda where and how we're gonna be targeting these fish. So it's gonna be a kind of a catch, show, tell, all kind of video here. So. I'm gonna start Bish off with the old Salmo swim bait uh, with a little Northland Tackle Deep V Jig. These things are pretty fire. This uh, perch pattern works really well out here and we're gonna be throwing in these pretty shallow. So we've got a whole bunch of assortment of other lures we're gonna be throwing as well. A whole bunch of different kind of paddle tails. We've got a, another Salmo. This is kind of like a skinnier deal with a little tungsten Northland jig. Perch, perch colors work really well out here as well. And then some kind of uh, natural colors work great as well. So we're gonna see what works and we're gonna go from there. I'm gonna throw a little perch color pattern right away and see if we can't catch something. Structure wise, we're gonna be sitting up real shallow. We're gonna be fishing some major rockeries, sitting right on top. A lot of these fish will push up as shallow as the rock reef will go. Anywhere between three and five feet of water, seven, eight feet, kind of just depends on the rock reef itself. But on this, on this particular one, we're just gonna sit uh, right in about four to five feet of water, cast directly on top where it's the thickest rock. That seems to be where a lot of these fish will congregate in the night times. And then during the day, they're gonna slide off along the edges and that's where you're gonna catch them during the day. Another thing with the high water this year, there's a lot of running water into all these lakes around. So you can find running water, you're gonna find walleyes. Doesn't matter what kind of body you're on. Current brings in bait fish everything loves current so if you can find current find a little stream inlet even outlets will produce fish this time of year um just start going throwing and don't be afraid to fish too shallow that's my biggest thing a lot of people fish out 10 8 12 15 feet of water uh these fish will sit super shallow um i doubt we'll even fish deeper than 10 12 feet this whole weekend so if i had one piece of advice to fish shallow nighttime three to five feet of water uh, during the day slide out into eight to you know ten feet of water um, they're gonna be sitting tight on structure close to these rocks which a lot of times go up into that uh, pretty shallow water out here it is now midnight so we're gonna start fishing hope we can catch a few and we'll get back to you all right well it is 12 10 and we got our first fish of the night oh smoky, dude <laughs> Let's go. Well, now we we're looking for, but hey, we'll take them like that, dude. <laughs> All right. Well, we're gonna get a pick probably this guy quick, and then we'll get it back. And let this guy go. Nice work, buddy. First fish in the boat it didn't take long at all. Not even 10 minutes in, we got our first fish. Not what we're looking for, but we'll definitely take it. We're gonna plan on going small fish tomorrow, but try for some walleyes. Hopefully, they want to show. But there's just a bunch of smallies in here. We'll definitely take those too. So we get back at it, and hopefully we can catch some nice walleyes. All right. Well, it took us a little bit. It took us a good 20, 30 minutes before we caught our first walleye here, but. Bischoff caught that one on a Salmo swim bait with a little Northland head on there. Not a bad fish. They'll be take them like that. Take them. Well, we're still in the same spot and the old deep V jig with a little green plastic. Perch color out here works absolutely dynamite. So we're gonna get back to it. See if we can't uh, catch a few more, huh? Absolutely. All right, well, I've been struggling a little bit. Bischoff's killing me back there. He's already got three on me. Finally caught my first walleye. I'm gonna get her back. It's still fairly early. It's uh, 12.30 right now, so definitely can't complain. We got four fish in the boat. A little slower than I'd like. Normally it's 
every cast out here on Mille Lacs, but I think it's just a matter of time before we get on the spot and kind of figure out the lure situation. So that one, I just switched lures. This one I came on a Salmo, same thing Bischoff's using, but in a burnt orange color. This is one of my favorite colors out here on Mille Lacs. So hopefully it's gonna get the job done. All right, let's see if we can catch one here. Beautiful, like Malax walleye. Finally, starting to get something dialed in here. Uh, hopefully, anyways, we just kind of reposition the boat on a new little rock pile, same area, but we're gonna get back to it. Starting to get her figured out. It's currently one o'clock, and I don't know, we probably got uh, 10 fish or so now on the boat. What do we got? Just a little baby walleye. All right, well, another nice little walleye. Basically, all we're doing uh, with these baits, and now that the brightness got down a little bit, I can kind of show you exactly what I'm using. A burnt orange, I call it, um, with a gold Northland MVP jig. These things are definitely becoming one of my favorite swim baits. Uh, jig heads out on the market so they got a nice big long shank um, that gets back far enough on the plastic so you don't get short hit a lot which is definitely nice for some of these pickier walleyes out here so but all we're doing is we're just casting this out and slowly we're trimming it in we're not popping it off bottom or anything like that uh, we normally do that during the daytime hours but at night these things are super aggressive and you can just throw it out there simply reel it in and they just crush it right out of your hands all right, well, I'm gonna do a small little segment, kind of a little breakdown of a map, and I'm gonna kind of pick it apart for you guys and show you exactly kind of what we're fishing in similar spots to this that I would be fishing out here as well. So um, I'm gonna kind of pull up a little map um, and screen record and kind of overlay some images so you guys can see exactly where we're fishing and what it kind of looks like on a map so you guys can kind of replicate that as well. So. Uh, let's get right into that and I'll kind of go over each little spot here. All right, so first spot here, as you can tell, kind of just a big reef, but right in the middle, you can see it gets up to four or five feet of water. That's exactly where I would fish uh, in the dark time hours. Next spot, we're gonna go over to a little point here, same deal, it's gonna get up to that three, four or five feet of water, cast right along those buoys. And next is a really good spot. I've actually fished this spot quite a few times. We've got a lot of walleyes on it. This gets up to three, two feet of water. Cast cranks, swim baits right on top of that. And you can definitely catch a lot of walleyes. And last, we got big point here. This is not a good point. You can see it's kind of flat rocks all over the place. And you got a real defined point that comes off of it. A lot of fish are going to sit up real nice and tight on there. And you can definitely pull some walleyes off some structure like that. All right, see if we can't catch a few more fish. He's getting a little rocky out here and I'm blinded by this light, but we're catching fish and that's all that matters. That one? All right, Bischoff is hooked up in the back of the boat. So we'll get him on this action.
Not a bad one at all. Well, it's about uh, 2.30 a.m. and we're gonna call it a night. We had a pretty successful night. We probably got 30 fish in the boat or so. Um, so not super crazy, um, but it's been all right. We're, we're definitely catching them. Um, not as good as previous years. Some years it's just like every cast out here. Um, but we're gonna start moving around. We're gonna put the camera away. We're just gonna kind of start fun fishing and Hopefully we can come across a whole bunch of walleyes. We're gonna stay on the move. I think uh, we kind of fished this spot out and it did pretty good. So Hope you guys enjoy the video and the little update on Malak's opener and we'll catch you guys on the next one